I keep saying not the worst pain of my life. The worst pain of my life actually had nothing to do with, with teeth or infections. It was, um, I don't know exactly what it was. The doctor didn't know either. But it was this, it's this pain in my leg that I still have to this day. That is not the worst pain of my life anymore. It just hurts sometimes. <laughs> it just hurts sometimes. It's kind of a little RNG present that I get. If it gets too cold outside, or if I sit with my legs up for too long, or if I sleep wrong, I just kind of wake up with it, and it's not as bad as it was. But basically, I was on that, how would you say, YouTube grind set. And I had been a neat before that, right? I had been a neat, and somehow, I had become even more of a neat. And I'm, I'm making, I'm making content aggressively. I'm on the- I'm on the content creator grind set. So it wasn't just YouTube, but anyways. Yeah, fun fact. If you think you're sedentary, you can get even more sedentary without realizing sometimes. When you're really passionate about something, when you're- when you're really dedicated about something, sometimes, sometimes you can spend even more time in a scrunched up ball, not drinking or eating. And a uh, sedimentary. Yeah, it's sedimentary. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sed sedimentary, yeah, not sedentary. So anyways, I feel this slight pain in my leg during this content creator grind set. I had started experiencing my first real bouts of like actual success. Not the kind of success on YouTube where you you get like a couple subscribers off of a video and you're like, holy fuck, this video did so good. I got I got a thousand views on it. Holy fuck, I've peaked with my life. No, this was like I had actually made some money. I had actually made some money. And I was like, this is my this is my dream. This is my this is my passion. This is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna live off of content creation. I'm gonna be a content creator. In hindsight, I don't see like a hundred percent what I did wrong or I don't like I can't I can't really look back on it and be like, wow, this is what I like or this is what happened or whatever. I don't know. I was just so focused on my passion. Well apparently I was so passionate that I was moving even less than I had been moving before. And basically, I started feeling this pain in my leg and I was like, oh, okay, well that's weird, but it'll, it'll, yeah, you lost sight of everything else. I guess I literally lost sight of everything else. I don't know what happened to my leg, but it hurt. It hurt. And I was like, okay, I'll rest it on this bed that I paid for with my own money, my content creator money. I was so proud of myself. Sorry. Anyways. I had bought... I, I had been sleeping on this fucking... It was like this cushion. It was this really long cushion. It was like supposed to be a couch. It's like a little... It's like a little lounge couch thing from like the 70s. A futon? Is that what it's called? And it was like... It's like a twin-size cushion. And it's not a mattress. Fun fact. It's not... It was not a mattress. But you could like lay it out. It's intended for like guests. And so it had been... Uh, my, it, it was like a... um. It was a hand-me-down from somebody at my mom's job, if I remember correctly. Like, they were giving it away because it was old. It was old and uncomfortable. But that was my bed. And I was like, I'm gonna buy my own bed. And so I bought a frame and I bought a mattress. And I was so proud of myself. With my content creator money! I tried, like, putting it out in, like, the sun. Like, Japanese people do, you know? I was like, I'm gonna put it out in the sun and that'll, like, bake away the bacteria and stuff. And, and make it, like, fluffy. And I'll, like, hit it with a stick and stuff to get the dust out. Anyways, it did not, it did not work. That was not manageable. That was a terrible thing. I, the, the, I was miserable sleeping on the thing. But I got a bed with my content creator money. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll rest my leg, you know? I'll, um, I don't know, maybe, like, elevating it. I kind of, like, had the feeling. Again, your body tells you things sometimes. I, I kind of, like, felt like I was, like, I should be stretching it. But stretching it, like, really hurt. And I was second-guessing myself. I was like, well, stretching it, you know, if I did something to it, maybe it just needs to rest. It just needs to heal. Maybe I pulled it somehow. No, no, I should have kept stretching it. And over the course of a day, this only took, like, this only took, like, 12 hours. This, this, this only took, like, 12 hours to go from, oh, this kind of hurts. Let me, um, oh, let me, let me, like, soak it in hot water in the bathtub. Rub some dirt on it. Let me rub some dirt on my leg. Let me take some, let me take some Advil. That was not enough Advil. Let me take more Advil. How much Advil can I take in a day? Let me take as much Advil as I'm allowed to take. Maybe a little bit more. That couldn't hurt too bad. You know, they, uh, they overestimate how much you can take on these bottles because, because you're not supposed to, you know, you, you know, like, people are stupid and they might, like, overdose, but I'll take, like, a little bit more. Okay? It was, it was, um, uh, it got, it got so bad 
that I just, I just literally could not stop screaming in pain. It was like this slow descent into, I was in so much pain, I was just screaming. And at like two in the morning, I, I knock on Mama Kin's door and Mama Kin comes out and she's like, what? And I'm like, I, can you not hear me screaming? Like I am in so much pain. I, something is very, very wrong. And she's like, oh, I thought you were laughing. And I'm like, ah, what? You thought I was laughing at two in the morning? Non-stop? That loud? Our rooms are right next to each other. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mamakin, she looks at me and it starts to set in. It starts to set in. When she sees like the way that I'm moving, or rather, the way that I'm not moving. She's like, uh, you know what? I think something actually is really wrong. And that's when I get scared. <laughs> because when my parents, when my parents say something is wrong, that's when something is wrong. These are the people that were like, nah, drink more cranberry juice. Would it hurt to walk from the fucking, from the fucking UTI down in Vegas? Not down in Vegas, but down in Nevada. So when Mama Kin's like, yeah, Actually, something seems very wrong here. That's when I start to panic. <laughs> it's not a good sign when the person who tells you to drink cranberry juice for your fucking non-stop UTI is like, oh yeah, actually, get in the car. Let's go to the emergency room right now. Now more juice. I should have just drank cranberry juice. That would have made it go away. <laughs> We go, we go to the emergency room and there was a moth on the window, which I thought was such a nice distraction. Cause I'm like looking at this moth and I'm like, hello, my friend, are you my spirit animal? Are you going to save me from this plane of existence? I'm like out of my goddamn mind. I am, I am delirious from the fucking pain. Okay. <laughs> I am going insane. Uh, Pippa, you died. <laughs> So I go, I go to the emergency room and they're, they're wheeling me around in a wheelchair and shit, which was so embarrassing. There's just something, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the way I was raised or something, but like walking, walking around just even, even if it was in immense pain would have felt so much better. Something about, something about being pushed around in a fucking wheelchair is just like the most embarrassing, shameful feeling. So they're pushing me around in a little wheelchair. And, um, I'm, I, I, they laid me down in the bed. This got so off, to off topic from the fucking dentist trip. But they're pushing me around the little wheelchair. They laid me down in the little bed thing. And they're, they're looking me over. They're doing like, they're, they're, uh, they give me, they don't give me the shot at first. They're like asking me. And my vision is just a blur. Like, I, I, I don't know how to describe it. Because, you know, like when you dissociate, like everything's kind of hazy. This was not that. This was not blinking away tears blurry this was like everything is a fucking blur like i feel like i lost 50 percent to 75 percent of my fucking vision you know when you put on like the really blind kids glasses it's like that it's it's like it's it's bad it's really fucking bad and i'm looking at the doctor and the motherfucker is like glowing like it's like, <laughs> it sounds so dramatic, but it was like I was looking at a fucking angel because the white coat is so like blurry. Like he's like literally fucking glowing. Not glowing like an FBI agent or CIA agent, but like it's so blurry. He's like literally glowing in my vision. And he takes, he takes my temperature and stuff. And I think I had a fever. After that, they take me into the, like an x-ray room thing. And the lady does the x-ray. And this is like, I'm, I'm, I'm laying on the x-ray table and she's like like on this table and there's like this x-ray machine thing and she's like okay can you lift your leg up and i'm like yeah um sorry give me a second and i'm like slowly lifting my leg and i'm like covering my mouth trying so hard not to scream but i'm crying out anyways and i'm just like i'm sorry i'm sorry i know i'm annoying i'm sorry i'm sorry as i lift my leg so they can get like the fucking x-ray scans and stuff and i and i have to like keep like doing like these different poses and shit so they can like scan it and she's just she, it's 2 a.m she's fucking dead inside she's like it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine and I'm just like, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, 
Ah, so then I get put back in the wheelchair and the x-ray results and shit come back and the doctor's looking over him and he's like, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with you. And I'm like, well, something's wrong. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, well, I don't see anything. And then he leaves. And then he leaves. That's it. He's done. He's gone. The doctor is gone. And the nurse practitioner is in there with me. How old? I was an adult at this point. This was... This was... This was three years ago now? Four years ago? This was like four years ago now, I think. Uh, yeah, didn't care. End of a shift. <laughs> um, the nurse practitioner. God bless her soul. God bless her soul. She was... She was like... Uh, oh, she gave me the shot and stuff. She gave me the shot. That did not help at all. It did not fucking help at all. At first. It, it, took, it took a while. It, it eventually helped. It eventually helped a little bit. She was like... Yeah, you probably... You probably, like... Either... Either damaged a nerve... Or... It could be... Um... I forget what else... I forget what else she said it could be. Um... Eventually, I learned it could also be something called sciatica. I don't quite know what that is. But, um... Yeah, she... Yeah, basically she said the blood wasn't circulating. Um... And... And... That I really need to, like, stretch more. I still don't know what it is. I have not been back to the doctor since then. So I have no idea. I have no idea. Actually, I can't say that. I went to the doctor once after to get depression medication, which did not help at all. Turned me into a fucking robot. That's another story for another day. She was like, yeah, you need to be stretching your leg like every hour. And she recommended some stretches. She was like, get a standing desk, uh, get like an exercise ball, stuff, stuff to just make sure you're not just like sitting normally. Which I did not take that advice. I got I got one of those little ball things, right? I got the exercise ball. But my realm was such a mess, there was no chance in hell I could actually use it. Yeah. Yeah, she basically prescribed some exercise. And some very powerful drugs. That knocked me out for 24 hours. She gave me pain medication. That literally... Oh, well, I guess it would have been the doctor that, that actually prescribed it. But that fucking medication, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what it was, but I took that fucking medication and that shit knocked me out for 24 hours. A full goddamn day. Fentanyl? I don't know. Opiates? I don't know. I don't remember. It was the good stuff though. <laughs> that shit knocked me out. <laughs> it fucking knocked me out. I was out, man. I was fucking out. I was dead for 24 hours and then and then I had to take it again and I passed out again and then I kept taking it and I got the best sleep of my fucking life. <laughs> I can only imagine what the people online around me must have thought because I just kind of disappeared. <laughs> I kind of just disappeared for a few fucking days. Like it was holy shit. Oh God, I forgot what the point of that story was. Oh yeah, that was the worst pain of my life. That was that was the worst pain of my life. And knowing it can get worse from there is horrifying. Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low low effort clips. That's right, low effort clips right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.